in Luke, Luke chapter 14. Luke chapter 14. Here is what the Lord is saying to you. In Luke chapter 14, I'm reading from verse 17. And he sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden. Here is the word. Come, for all things are now ready. Come out. Come in. Come out of darkness. Come into the light. Come out of idol worship. And come to Jesus, the only Savior. Come out of that occultism. And come into the true power, transforming power of the Almighty God. Come out of your shame, out of your sorrow, come out of your suffering, and come into the joy of the Lord. Come out of condemnation. Sin condemns us. Come out of that condemnation and come into justification, into salvation. Come out of your sickness and come into his health. Come out of your bondage and come out and come into his freedom. Come for all things are now ready. Point number one. The point of entry. Point number two. The path to excellence. You know, there are people in life that they could be up there, but they are down here. The Lord created you for something good. That's why he has reserved some promises for you. And he said, you will be head, you will not be tail. I thought it is state will say, Amen. He said, you will be forward only, you will not be backward. He's saying you will be extraordinary, you will not be ordinary. You will not just be somebody, I came, I came, I came. If you look at some chapters in Genesis, and you look at some chapters in First Chronicles, they mentioned many, many names. He was born. He gave birth to others. Then he's gone. Birth. Begetting. Bereavement. Just one sentence in their lives. Even with two sellers. He came. He had children. It's gone. Nothing about their lives. The people God made in his own image. Let us make man in our image. At our likeness. Let them have dominion. He created you for dominion. He created you for authority. He created you for power. He created you to be on the mountain top. He created you to have a shining light all through your life. He created you for a life of excellence. But 
There is no excellence without a journey, without moving on. Show me a student. That student entered in form one. And there's no progress, no past, no journey. Just staying in that form one. Excellence will not come. In our lives, many of us will stay in one class. There's no progress. There's no past. There's no plan. There's no project. There is nothing to say, I am here this month, I'll be there next month. I'm here this year, I'll be over there next year. There's no path to excellence. This coming year for you will be a year of progress. But my brother, my sister, if there's going to be progress, you know what we do? We take inventory of the present time. We we'll say, this is what I have. This is what I have. This is what I've done. This is what I possess. We take inventory of the present time. We we'll look ahead. We we'll make a plan. We we'll search a goal. We we'll look at the resources we have. We we'll look at what God wants to make of our lives. We we'll search our focus on that goal, that destiny. Then we we'll look for the road that goes from here to there. And every day of the coming year, you will not be tired. I said you will not be tired. One step at a time. 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 time. Do you know that little drops of water make a mighty ocean? Do you know that a step, a step, a step, you will get there? I'm looking for somebody who will get there. I said I'm looking for somebody who will get there. I prophesy upon your life. That place the Lord wants to take you in the new year. You will get there in Jesus' name. What one word can I give you? That will summarize together the path to excellence. Before I give you that word. What one word should I have given you? That will summarize the point of entry. The word is calm. Don't stay there. Calm. Don't stay in darkness. Calm. Something is waiting for you. What one word can I give you now for point number two? The path to excellence. Continue. Tell me. I can't hear you. You will continue. You know, this coming year, the goal is already before you. The mountain top is before you. The devil will say, are you not tired? Remember one word. Tell yourself that word. Continue. Other people will make fun of you. Holy, holy. Madam Mary. Church, church. Deeper, deeper. Don't listen to them. When they say that, tell yourself one word. Tell me. Continue. 
you will feel weary and tired. You will hear people tell stories about you. Where did they get that story? They are telling lies against me. They will persecute. They will do a lot of things. Something will tell you there is no point continuing. These people, they are in great. They don't appreciate any good thing. I lay my life down for them so that I can move forward. I can move them forward. Satan will try to tell you, sit down. Why are you bothering yourself? That day, that time, remember. Those who sit down, they never get to excellence. Those who are discouraged and they say, I cannot move, they don't get to the mountain top. You will tell yourself one word. Give it to me. Continue. You know, that's how you get to excellence. That's how you will make it. You will make it. I said you will make it. Let me show you. Let me show you. Luke chapter 22. I'm reading from verse 28. Luke chapter 22 verse 28. Ye are they which have continued with me. In my temptations. Temptations may come. Trials may come. Troubles may come. Ye are they which have continued with me. And I appoint unto you a kingdom. You know, that's what you are going to get. It's the word continue. Look at John chapter 8. John chapter 8 verse 31. I'm telling you, this is the word you need. Don't sit down. Don't sit. Don't, don't look back. Don't get this. Correct. If you get, if you get this, you sit down. Other people that didn't have enough as much intelligence as you have, because they continue, they continue, they continue. They will pass you. They will hold. They will take your promise. Nobody will take your place. <laughs> John chapter 8 verse 31 then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him if ye continue in my word then are ye my disciples indeed you will continue discouragement will not stop you Satan will not stop you evil spirit will not stop you and all those people the insinuations and lies and everything nobody will stop you have you ever thought about something Anybody who has the power to stop you is stronger than you are. You thought you were strong. And then a little boy takes a broomstick and say, I will beat you. And surprisingly, you stop. That means that little boy with that little broomstick is stronger than you are. It's not what you say. It's your action. Anybody that is able to stop you is stronger than you are. You will not stop. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 16. It says, take heed unto thyself and 
unto the doctrine, continue in them. How do you get to that place of excellence? Because you continue. Am I talking to somebody who will continue? I say, can I see the person there will continue? You will reach that point of excellence in Jesus' name. Number one, the point of entry. Number two, the path to excellence. Number three, partnership for exploits. Partnership for exploits. Look up here. You say, I don't know anything. I don't have anything. I am weak. I am small. You know, if you are, if you write the letter or the figure zero, and you make it round like this, when you look at that number all alone by itself, zero, nothing. There is another number here, one. Are you following me? Where are you? Are you following me? You have one. You have zero. If that zero stands alone, that's all he is. Move. Come. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. And when you reach the side of one and you're in partnership together, one, zero, what is that? Jesus said, all power on earth and in heaven is given unto me. If you are zero, he is whole and unit integral. And you bring your zero life, you bring your zero possession, you bring your zero strength, you bring it to Jesus, it makes ten. You will get to that place of excellence. He said, come and abide. Come and stay with me. I will not leave you on my own part. No matter what happens to you, I will not leave you. If you are weak, I will take you up. If you have any weakness, I will strengthen you. If you have any challenge, I am interceding, praying for you. If you are 